All right, let's start with my favorite part of the training, the automation part. So uh, I love doing automation. So automations is uh, some of the most fun part, in my opinion, uh, working with smart home solutions. And now we are going to look at the Shelly Scenes. Uh, Shelly Scenes is a very simple way of making a very uh, super efficient automations. Uh, it has this, if this, then that uh logic so it's pretty easy to learn it's pretty easy to do and uh, it's only up to your imagination what you want to do and which kind of automations you want to create um i would like to show a few different uh automations uh so i will split this video into four different videos uh with four different automations maybe i will even add a bit more Let's go and start making the first automation. And the first automation I would like to make is to turn on the lights automatically when motion is detected by my Shelly Blue motion sensor. But I only would like the light to turn on if it's dark inside the room. So I need to make a condition that is checking if the brightness inside the room is, uh, is, 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 is also uh, on a low level. So what I have to do now is to go to the living room where I would like to make my automation press the scene at, uh, in the sub menu here and press add a scene. Now it's just asking me when something happens. Uh, so the when condition is when something happens, in this case, when my Shelly Blue motion is detecting motion. So I have to press add condition now. As you can see here, the condition can be uh, device based. It can be based on another scene. It can be time based and it can be alarm based. If you have a premium account, it can also be based on weather forecast and it can also be based on sunrise and sunset. I already showed you another way to make sunrise and sunset schedules uh, uh, in another video. Uh, so I'll not cover this part. Let's just go and use the device based uh, 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 condition as we are going to use our Shelly Blue Motion to trigger the automation. Press next and now I have to select my device. I would like to use my Shelly Blue Motion. Uh, so I select it and now it asked me to select the device property. So uh, this device here is detecting motion. It can also detect illumination and it can also uh, give me some information about the battery level. I would like to uh, start the automation when motion is detected. So I press the motion here and I press when motion sensor detected motion. Press next. And this is a trigger property. I will uh, show you in a minute uh, when to use the condition uh, property. But in this case, we use the trigger because the automation has to be triggered uh, because of the motion. Press save. So now it shows here that uh, when Shelly Blue Motion detects motion, then something uh, can be done. But I also want to ensure that my lights only is turning on when it's dark inside the room. So here you can see that we have this and, um, and feature and we have the or condition here. What I would like to do now is to add a scene that says when Shelly Blue Motion detects motion and it's dark inside the room. So I will go ahead and press add condition just below the and, uh, and uh, uh, text here. Now I have to find a device that can detect my illumination inside the room. Uh, lucky for me, the Shelly Blue Motion uh, both detects uh, uh, motion and also illumination. So I'll just go ahead and find the same device and pick illumination instead. It's device based. It's my Shelly Blue Motion. And instead of motion, I will choose illumination. Not everybody knows uh, about illumination levels or lux levels, as you call it. But uh, you can go ahead and check the status of your uh, your your uh, Shelly Blue Motion uh, on different times to see how uh, much illumination or how many lux, lux levels uh, does it tell you. Uh, but I know that below 50 lux is when I would like the lights to turn on. This is uh, this is uh, pretty dark. 
Uh, remember to uh, select here less than or more than. I, I want it to be less than 50 locks. Press next. So this is not a trigger condition because uh, the scene should not be triggered when the brightness goes below 50 lux. The scene will should be triggered when there's motion and this is just a condition. Uh, the device is just checking if uh, the brightness is below 50 lux. So this is why I will change and use the condition property here. Press save. And now you can see uh, how it looks like. So it says now when Chili Blue Motion detects uh, motion and Chili Blue Motion says that it is less than 50 locks inside your room, then we can do something. This is perfect. We're going to also add an OR condition if you want to. So, for example, if you have multiple motion sensors or if you want to add a push button as well that can do the same, then you can add an OR condition. So, if motion sensor 1 detects motion, or if motion sensor 2 detects motion, or if motion sen sensor 3 is detecting motion, then you can add uh, a lot of motion sensors. All right, press next. Now we have to select what to do. And I want my, uh, my, my lights to turn on, pretty simple. So add an action. I would like to add a device action. I could also add a group action, I could also add an alarm action, a notify action, uh, or a scene action. So I just want my dimmer to turn on at 50% brightness. So go and press next, uh, select the device. So this is my dimmer I would like to turn on. Press next. Uh, I would like to change the state of the device. I want it to turn on. I also want to turn it on, select and turn it on at 50% brightness because this is in the night time. I don't want to get blinded, so I will just have to choose the so I want to choose the brightness on my own. Press next and I have the option to make a delay. But I don't want to do that. When motion is detected, I want the lights to turn on immediately. Press save. I can also add more actions. So if I have more lights or if I want to trigger or send a notification or something like that, I could do that as well. Let's press next. Um, the active time is the time period of time where this action can be triggered. So it would maybe make sense to, to select only the night time. But maybe uh, you live in, in the Northern Europe like I do. And uh, sometimes in the winter time, it can be pretty dark also in the daytime. So I would like this uh, scene to, to, to work uh, all, all day long. I would like to enable the scene. I don't need to execute it now. This is just a test. Press next. Select a room to, 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 to locate your scene inside. So if you have a lot of scenes, it would make, it makes sense to add the scene to the room uh, that it works in. Uh, then you can make a filter of your room and only see the scenes inside the room you want to to check. Uh, uh, you want to search in. Give the scene a name. Let's call it living room. Turn on lights when motion is detected. I like to use the green color when something is turning on and the red color when something is turning off. Uh, so I'll just select the color here and press save. So now we have the, the scene here. Be aware uh, that the scene is only working when there's a blue ring around. It means that the scene is activated. If I deactivate the scene here, then it's not working. Uh, so I need to activate the scene. There's also a play button. So this is just a test button. Or if you manually want to play or activate the scene, then you can do that. If I press the color of the scene here, then you will get the quick overview about the scene. And you can quickly see how this scene or this automation is working. So as you can see, when a uh, shelly blue motion is detecting uh, motion and when it's uh, less than 50 locks inside the room, then do turn on the dimmer on 50% brightness. So this is exactly what we wanted to do. So let's go ahead and check if it's actually working. Let's see. So my motion sensor is not detecting motion and my lights is turned off. 
So now I will try to trigger my motion sensor by moving my hand in front of it to see if my dimmer is turning on. Motion is detected. As you can see, the dimmer did not turn on. Uh, it makes completely sense because I have all of my uh, spotlights turned on, even though it's it's quite late now. Uh, of course, I have my all of my lights. So if I press my, you can see actually the the lux level inside my room is 150 lux. So uh, this is the reason why my dimmer is not turning on. So let me quickly go and change the scene uh, and make sure that the lights is turning on below 200 lux maybe. Uh, then it should work. So go to scenes here and to edit your scene, press the scene, press the edit button. Uh, so I just want to edit the, the brightness level here. Next, press next. And instead of... 50 logs, I will change it to 200 logs. Press next and press save. So now I changed the logs level to below 200 logs. I have to go and wait to, until my motion is uh, not detected anymore. Um, and then I can try to trigger my automation once again to see if it's working. So now it says there's no motion. Uh, let's see if it works now when I trigger my motion sensor, if it will turn on my lights. And it did. It turned on the lights immediately. So the thing is that the light will not turn off now because I've made no scene that will turn off the lights again. So I need to make another scene now that will turn off the light when there's no more motion detected. So let me uh, just do it very quickly. I'll go through it a bit faster this time. So press add new scene when something happens. So this is when uh, the motion sensor is not detecting motion anymore so it's a device based uh, action uh, press next i'll find my motion sensor press next and uh, it's based on motion and when the motion sensor is not detecting motion anymore then i want the lights to turn off press next it's a trigger press save and that's it and i i, I don't care about lux level brightness levels anymore uh, I just want the lights to turn off. So uh, what should happen? I would like my lights to turn off. So I will find my dimmer here. Press next. I would like to change the state. I would like to turn off the Shelly device. Press next. There's no delay. Press save. And that's it. Active time all day. I would like to enable the scene. I don't want to execute it. Press next. I would like to uh, place it inside my living room. Press next and I will give it a name. So I'll call living room. Turn off lights when no motion. I'll give it a red color. Save. So now we have my scene here. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and see if it's actually working. So there's no more motion detected. Uh, I will just turn off my lights. So now I would like to manually trigger my motion sensor to see if it's turning on. It did. And now I have to wait until uh, there's no more motion detected uh, to see if my Shelly dimmer will turn off again then. All right, so you can actually see that it did work. So there's no more motion detected and my silly dimmer turned off. And uh, just to, just for fun, let's try to check the timestamp. So if I check the timestamp here of my motion sensor, you can see it actually pretty late here. Uh, so I press my motion sensor and I pressed here the activity lock. Here you can see at uh, 00, 0, 50, 0, 3, there were no more motion. Let me check my silly dimmer when it did turn off. So let's check the time, uh, the activity log here. And you can see at 005003, it did turn off. So exactly, it was triggered by uh, the motion sensor that did not uh, or stopped detecting motion. So this is how you're making scenes. And uh, now I have made some automatic uh, lighting control inside my living room or for my customer.